Every now and then, the electric vehicle industry experiences a moment that quietly signals something major beneath the surface. Something that doesn't make flashy headlines but reveals real movement inside a company's roadmap. That is exactly what just happened with Aptera Motors. At a glance, it looks like just another corporate filing, one of thousands submitted every year. But for anyone paying attention to Aptera's long journey toward production, this filing is far more than paperwork. It's a financial signal flare, hinting at how the company plans to strengthen its foundation as it prepares for the next chapter. If you care about breakthrough EV engineering, startup financing, or the behind-the-scenes mechanics that determine whether a new automotive company thrives or disappears, this moment is worth digging into. Because tucked inside this filing is a decision that could shape Aptera's production trajectory for years. It all starts with a document dated November 13th, 2025. On that day, Aptera submitted a Form 8K, one of the most important types of filings a public company can make. Unlike the predictable quarterly or annual reports, an 8K is only submitted when something significant demands immediate public disclosure. Companies can't hide events that may influence investors, and they have to notify the public quickly. That alone tells us something happened that Aptera considered important enough to elevate. The beginning of the filing goes through standard information. Aptera's incorporation in Delaware, its official commission file number, its tax ID, and the address of its Carlsbad headquarters. On the surface, it seems routine. But this context is required every time a company files a new event with regulators, serving as the legal framework around the real news. What stands out next is Aptera's status as an emerging growth company. This designation gives young public companies a bit of breathing room by allowing them to follow slightly reduced regulatory requirements. It's something that benefits startups still scaling their operations. But the interesting detail is that Aptera voluntarily chose not to take advantage of a delay in adopting new accounting standards. That may sound like a small technical consideration, but it reflects something meaningful. Confidence. Companies that feel uncertain about their financial processes often delay accounting changes, wanting more time to adjust. Aptera took the opposite approach. This is one of those subtle indicators that suggests internal organization and readiness. Then, buried in the filing, comes the line that really matters. Under Regulation FD, a rule meant to ensure fair disclosure of key information, Aptera reveals that its registration statement on Form S-1 has officially become effective. That might not sound dramatic, but what comes next is the part that matters. This approval activates a $75 million equity line of credit with New Circle Principal Investments, LLC. This is the true centerpiece of the filing. A $75 million equity line is not a trivial development. It's a financial tool designed to give Aptera access to capital when needed, without the weight of traditional debt. Picture it as a flexible stream of funding that the company can tap into at strategic moments instead of taking on a massive loan with fixed repayment schedules. Rather than borrowing money and carrying the burden of interest payments, Aptera can issue shares gradually to raise funds as required. This kind of arrangement comes with powerful advantages. It provides flexibility, giving Aptera the ability to draw funds only when operational milestones justify it. There is no immediate pressure from lenders demanding repayment, which is crucial when a company is still finalizing its production systems. And if the stock price rises, Aptera can raise the same amount of money while issuing fewer shares, protecting more value for the future. But like any financial tool, it comes with its own trade-offs. Issuing new shares means dilution for existing investors. Their ownership percentages shrink as the number of outstanding shares increases. This cost is standard for equity-based funding. It's neither good nor bad on its own. Its impact depends entirely on how effectively the company uses the capital. If Aptera leverages this funding to hit production targets, secure supply chains, and accelerate growth, 
the value generated can outweigh the dilution. If progress stalls, the dilution becomes harder to justify. The fact that New Circle Principal Investments LLC is willing to extend an equity line of this size says something important. Investors don't allocate tens of millions of dollars without examining a company's technology, leadership, and long-term potential. This is a sign that Aptera's vision, ultra-efficient vehicles that challenge conventional EV design, has convinced institutional investors that the company is worth betting on. Beyond the financial mechanics, the significance of this development becomes clearer when considering where Aptera stands in its journey. Many EV startups fail not because the technology is flawed, but because the transition from prototype to full-scale production is incredibly expensive. Manufacturing tools, supplier contracts, quality testing, facility expansions, staffing, battery procurement. These are the hidden, often overwhelming challenges that sink promising companies. Having access to flexible funding at this stage is invaluable. And that's exactly what this equity line offers Aptera. This funding mechanism gives them the ability to move forward with production tooling, grow their workforce, strengthen supplier agreements, and scale up without the weight of unforgiving loan terms. In a segment where timing matters, this kind of financial runway can make the difference between momentum and stagnation. The filing concludes with standard exhibits, the press release summarizing the event, the machine-readable cover page data, and the official signature from Chris Anthony, co-CEO. His signature finalizes the filing and confirms the accuracy of everything disclosed. When viewed as a whole, this filing is much more than a legal requirement. It represents a critical milestone in Aptera's strategy. The company now has access to substantial capital in a way that aligns with its growth needs rather than imposing pressure. It signals investor confidence, operational readiness, and the beginning of a phase where the company can focus more on execution and less on survival. There are challenges ahead. No production ramp is ever easy, especially in the EV space. But there is also a clear message here. Aptera is not standing still. It is actively building the financial foundation needed to move from concept to mass production. The coming months will reveal how effectively the company leverages this new access to capital. But one thing is certain. This step positions Aptera differently than before, with more stability, more flexibility, and a stronger chance of turning its innovative designs into vehicles on the road. What do you think this move means for Aptera's next chapter?